Yes, we are. Sweet. Okay, today is uh, the first full day of our Venice experience. And uh, today, do we have a list of things that we're going to go see? Um, not really. I don't think so. We're just going to wing it. I think we're going to go back to a lot of the places that we went to last night. Uh, I think we're going to hit up uh, the St. Marco's uh, Marketplace. Piazza? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, Piazza. And then there's a few other, like Rialto's Point uh, or whatever. I'm not sure how any of these words are pronounced. Uh, <laughs> if I did, I'd be speaking fluent Italian. <laughs> <laughs> we can only speak fluent fake Italian, which sounds like, so. That's all it sounds like. Uh, I didn't just say anything just then. Maybe you did, but you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps someone's going to come leaping down upon me. Um, yes, we're gonna we're gonna wander into alleyways. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a few boats. Uh, we're gonna film a lot of weird things, uh, and maybe we'll get into trouble. So that's our plan. Uh, <laughs> and there'll be some landmarks along the way. Yeah. Everybody, on this beautiful morning, we're standing in front of the uh, San Marco Polo, big church. Okay, so I just want to direct your attention over here. <laughs> Right, like opposite of it is this huge clock with the signs of the zodiac on it, uh, which I think is absolutely hilarious. It's like insurance or balance. I'm not really sure what it means. Anyway, two scoops, uh, yeah. and one one of coffee, other coffee, and then. Uh, I'm getting Nokiola. What's Nokiola? What's uh, what is that? Can I go Chola? Sure. Try it. Wait, wait, start it. Yeah. Chola. No Chola. Ah, oh. <laughs> danke. And chocolate. Yeah. I'm kind of, I'm with the uh, Nochola. Yeah, but that's something in it that I don't like. I don't know what it was. <laughs> uh, all right, friends. Romans, countrymen, uh, Italians. Uh, this is uh, RJ and Andrew. And hola. Uh, hola. Ciao. Ciao. Buongiorno. 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 Uh, reporting our our second day in Venice. Uh, we did some things today. We went some places. We did some things, but first we took care of a personal Andrew or personal errand for Andrew that has been perplexing him for weeks. Yes. And what was that? What was that? Would you like to tell us uh, about that, Andrew? Well, it was probably almost a month ago when I first noticed this little problem. Yeah. It was with my uh, pair of shoes, my one and only pair of shoes that I brought over to Europe. From this side, they look like a normal tennis shoe. <laughs> <laughs> but when I flip them over, there's a big hole. <laughs> awesome, baby. And how long have you had those shoes, Andrew? I've had these shoes for, well, I bought them brand new in August of last year. Okay. And I have rarely wore them okay. until the trip. Okay. And... Most of my walking, most of my walking and going out and whatnot, has uh, led to these massive holes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> here's the other one too. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, so, yeah, the amount of walking we've been doing over here has been a lot. Yes, prohibitive. Yes. Yeah, we've we've been. I would say we walked a lot. Today and yesterday. Yes. Um, I don't know, I think every single trip that we've gone on has been around 10 miles. Yeah. Each, so. Yeah. 
I mean, when you're putting that amount of mileage on your shoes, I mean, it's bound to happen. All right. And uh, would you like to show us the new, the, new ones. the kicks? The new kicks. Found them on sale. And they don't have mesh tops, everyone. They don't have mesh tops. Oh, new shoes. New shoes. Also with waterproofing, I hear. Yeah, I did purchase the waterproofing okay. spray. Fantastic. So. All right. I will be sporting these from now on. All right. Beautiful. Uh, another thing we did today, we made a surprise visit to a tiny little island called Lido, which is off the Lido. coast. I uh, fell in love with this place. Absolutely fell in love with this place. Island, nice beach. Yes. I did not want to leave. No. I don't think RJ wanted to... Uh, Stick around for me walking on <laughs> the entire beach. No, RJ died. Four, four miles long. Yeah. Uh, at some point, the sand uh, started to, uh, you know, I, my, I'm, I'm a very fragile being. I, <laughs> you know, I melt easily. So, uh, we had a wonderful time at the beach. Uh, we had pizza, which uh, Andrew favored. I favored it. Because it was spicier than the one that we had for dinner. Okay. And I, uh, I ate it because it was there. Uh, <laughs> I was not a huge fan. When the grease just rolls, Roll when you can mm. see it pool on the surface, you know no. that's going to stick right to your ass. So, Yummy. <laughs> uh, I rather favored what we had this evening. Um, pizza was great. It was superb. It needed spiciness, though. Yeah. Need a little kick. Need some Tabasco sauce or something. And some something. Uh, well, uh, we did have a favorite activity at the beach. Andrew, would you like to explain? And I will take the camera over. Alrighty. Well, when we were at the beach, we, uh... Found some very neat looking seashells. Seashells! And here's the extent of our collection. <laughs> Andrew's pockets were bulging yeah. uh, because we kept loading them and then picking up a few more and a few more and a few more. It was very, <laughs> it was disastrous almost. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, we have pretty presents for people and they were. Free. And that's what we like because Darling's Venice, a little expensive. Yeah, just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. We just do a have wee them. Bit expensive. We've arranged them in color for you. Some of you lucky, lucky people will be receiving some mm -hmm. <laughs> as gifts. Uh, but just wanted to preview that for you now. Yep. All right. Okay. <clears throat> And uh, we visited uh, a little, little churchy poo today, where they're having, where they're getting ready to have some celebration. Yes, they are. Little uh, San Marco Polo, uh, yep. which was probably about a five-second experience today, yeah, wasn't it? That was a five-second <laughs> experience. Um, we stood in line for about five minutes. Yes. And walked through. And about five seconds. <laughs> and we weren't allowed to take pictures either, which is always nope. very disappointing to me. Yep, it was. Even though it was free. Free. I mean, it was free. Yeah. But that was that was disappointing. I think they're uh, right now. I mean, since it is uh, Easter holidays, yeah. they're probably getting the church ready for the Easter celebration on Sunday. So. Sure. I suppose that I understand uh, yeah. that they may have some other things to do rather than entertain me, but <laughs> I was still so very excited by the outside, and really, they let us in the entrance way, and that was it, darlings. Yeah, that, so. was, that, was, dis that was a disappointment. Yeah. Then um, we bought uh, a 16 euro ticket each uh, for the water taxi, which yes. is very... Uh, very I popular. Very 
uh, worth it. I don't know. It was worth it. it. <laughs> we bought a t we each bought a 12 hour ticket and we rode the crap out of that ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I think we uh, spent maybe a couple hours on the. Yes. At least two hours, maybe three hours. At least a couple hours and probably more like three, uh, because Venice is. It has a bunch of little islands connected, and mm -hmm. so we wanted to visit some of those. And also, when you're floating on the river, what better time to take some pictures? Exactly. Because when you're when in Venice, it's not exactly an option to when you're in front of a huge building building to back up very much <laughs> because you're gonna be wet. <laughs> if you back up too much. Yeah. So some of the best pictures are taken from boats. And we did play that today. Uh, and uh, the ride home was particularly... Interesting. It was. That's Andrew, would you like to uh, go on about that to, at some length? Or? Um, well, we got done with our fine uh, dinner yeah. at the... I don't remember the restaurant's name. I took a picture. <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll get get you the name later. But uh, after our dinner, we uh, decided to take the boat home because we figured it'd take us a good two hours to walk home. Because knowing us, we'd stop and take <laughs> pictures at some random place. And then by the time we got home, it'd be around midnight. <laughs> so we opt to take the the water bus and they we got to the stop and we got on the the water bus or the boat yeah it was packed it was packed absolutely packed oh my god darlings we were pretty much hugging each other yes the entire time and others and others yes. yeah <laughs> and others <laughs> And when the bus uh, stops I believe, anyway? uh, RJ had a little uh, <laughs> rub up against the fine lady. <laughs> she touched me inappropriately. Oh, she touched you inappropriately. Okay. I was busy touching someone else inappropriately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. It was real close on that water bus on the way home. But, uh, you know, we all got a little closer. Uh, we all got a little frisky on that. On that. <laughs> It was Bull frisky, ride. baby. <laughs> <laughs> just he'd slam into people, and I don't know. That, like, oh, hello. <laughs> hi, how you doing? Hi, how, you doing? Uh, <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Lastly, uh, just taking a look around this room, you'll notice a couple of things. One, we're in a different room, and we are two, in a room. and we got two beds. We got our own beds. So, with that, uh, good night from Venice. We'll see you again in the morning. And uh, Andrew, final words? Not really. You guys have a great night. Sweet. We'll, uh, See you guys again soon. Sweet. All right. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.